Welcome back. Today, we're talking about Khalifa Rosser from the United States in the men's 400 meter hurdles. We're gonna be diving in and taking a look at the progression that he's shown in 2022 relative to the previous years, and then what he's potentially gonna be able to do in 2023 and even beyond. Now, first off, let's look at his personal best entering the 2022 season in the 400 meter hurdles. He had a personal best of 48.65 seconds, set all the way back in 2018 at the USA Championship. So almost four full years since he's improved his personal best, 49.05 in 2019, 48.81 in 2021. So 2022 was a really, really big year. Let's really dive into it. So first off, starting off this season, very modest, 49.22, nothing too crazy, but his second meet of the year, April 22nd, 48.26 seconds in that 400 meter hurdles at the Michael Johnson Invitational, breaking his personal best of 48.6. This was a huge step up for him and shows that 2022 was going to be a very good year for him. Moving down to Drake Relays, right? 49.49, nothing too crazy, but down in Dominican Republic, 48.45. Again, not personal best. He just set that a couple weeks prior, but faster than his previous best entering the year, just continuing to roll. Well, enter the Prefontaine Classic just two weeks after that, 48.10 seconds to finish second place to Alison Dos Santos. Of course, Dos Santos, the Olympic bronze medalist um, at that point. 48.10 seconds was a huge personal best, dropping that 48.26 that he set earlier in the season and really showed that he's on the cusp of breaking that 48 second barrier and he is very, very likely in contention to make the US team to the world championships. Well, after that, he takes a trip over to Europe to compete in a couple of international meets, goes over to Poland, 48.23 seconds. So second fastest time ever, really strong performance, actually sets the meet record at this meet as well. So great performance for him moves down into the Diamond League at the Rabat Diamond League down in Morocco, 48.25 seconds. What I wanna highlight at this point is the consistency that Rosser has been showing. 48.10 seconds, his personal best. 48.23 seconds, 48.25 seconds, 48.26, 48.45. Remember what I noted, his personal best entering the 2022 year was 48.65 seconds. So for him to improve upon that multiple times throughout the year already, shows that this was something special. Now, getting to those USA Championships, he just rolled. 48.34 in the semifinals, and then 47.65 seconds in that USA Championship final to finish third place, just behind Trevor Bassett in second, and then also behind Rye Benjamin, who of course got the win there. This 47.65 was a huge performance for a couple reasons. First off, took half a second off his previous best of 48.10 seconds all the way down to 47 mid. This was a huge, huge performance. If we really put this in context, any athlete who breaks 48 seconds in the 400 meter hurdles really does get into that world, serious world-class range, right? Of course, the 400 meter hurdles has significantly improved since about like 2018 when we saw Samba break 47 seconds. Um, we saw Benjamin um, and then of course Warholm and now Dos Santos. So the 400 meter hurdles has really stepped things up, but this showed not only was he able to make a team, but he was also able to compete with the best in the world. Now, three weeks later, World Championships in Oregon, Rosser really throws the hammer down. 48.62 seconds, 48.34 seconds, then finishes fifth place in the World Championship final, 47.88 seconds. Now, have to note, because he finished third in his semifinal, he unfortunately got lane one in the final, so he couldn't really be as competitive. I don't think the results would have changed or anything, but from lane one, he ran 47.88 seconds, his second fastest time ever, just off his personal best of 47.65. This was an amazing performance and really showed that he was able to compete with the best of them and he is not gonna stop. He's gonna keep going and keep getting faster and faster and faster. Well, let's take a look. Goes over to the Poland Diamond League, runs 48.30 seconds just behind Alison Dos Santos. Amazing performance coming off the World Championships, his fifth place there. Then goes to the NACAC Championships. 47.59 seconds in that 400 meter hurdles. This was a personal best for Khalifa Rosser. Just finishes right behind Kyron McMaster. But again, personal best, he's running this after the world championships. 47 seconds already three times this year. This is a huge year for Rosser. 
goes again back to Europe, competes in the Lausanne Diamond League, 47.68 seconds. He's just clicking off 47s like it's nothing at this point, and it does not stop. Also, I have to know he gets the win at this Lausanne Diamond League, so a huge, amazing performance for him. Brussels Diamond League, 47.88. Like the 47s just keep on coming. Again, just to put things in context, entering the season, 48.65 seconds, personal best in 2018. Brussels Diamond League, 47.88, just behind, again, Allison Dos Santos. Zurich Diamond League, again, gets second place, 47.76 seconds. This is an amazing, amazing season for him. He runs at Zagreb. I think he just kind of ran through the motions, 52.13, finished last place. Wasn't really competing there just to end off his season. But this was an amazing season for him. Just looking at his all-time top 10 marks, guess where all of these come from? 2022. We're talking about 47.59 personal best, 47.65 all the way down to 48.26 seconds. All of these were run in 2022. Again, last time I just wanna highlight, his personal best entering the year was 48.65 seconds from 2018. He demolished that personal best. If we put things a little bit in context, in the year 2022, he actually finished the year ranked number seven in the world that year, just behind, of course, a couple of high names, Alison Dos Santos, Ryan Benjamin, Warhol, McMaster, Bassett, right, Hapio. So he was really up there in terms of top all-time guys. All time in the 400 meter hurdles though, he actually moved himself to number 25 all time in the 400 meter hurdles. And look at some of the names that he's actually ahead of. LJ Van Zyl, right? 2000, I think it's 2011 uh, World Championship bronze medalist, right? Jehu Gordon, the 2013 World Champion. Michael Tinsley, 2012 um, Olympic silver medalist. Uh, Javier Colson, multiple time uh, World Championship medalist. Nicholas Bett, 2015 World Champion. So look at all the guys that he actually finishes or he moves all time ahead of. And he's not too far off of some other guys. Derek Atkins, 1996 Olympic Champion, 1995 World Champion. So, Rosser is not too far off of these guys, and he's really showing that he can really mix himself up with some of the top guys in the world. To finish seventh in the world in 2022 is a huge, huge accomplishment. I think Rosser is going to be one of the guys to really look out for when we go into 2023. Now, he is 27 years old, so of course, a little bit older than some of the other guys like Benjamin, Warholm, of course, Dos Santos is super young, and even a little bit older than Trevor Bassett. But guess what? He showed that he is not to be played with. His performances in 2022, his personal best 47.59, and all the 47s that he ran throughout the season, he is not to be played with. Khalifa Rosser, he is gonna be one to look out for. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Khalifa Rosser. Let me know what you think of his 2022 season. Let me know what you think he's gonna be able to do in 2023 or even beyond. Do you think he's gonna maybe get down to 47 low or maybe even break into that 46 second barrier? Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.